Well, it's been a bumper year for sockeye salmon fishing in Port Alberni. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans estimates this year's run could be as high as 850,000 fish. That means plenty of sockeye will be available at your local seafood store and on the black market. A News reporter Brent Shearer has more on the story. He joins us live from our Mid-Island Bureau. Brent? Mary Beth, the DFO is warning people to be careful about who they are getting their fish from. Most of the roadside vendors you see out there selling sockeye salmon do not have licenses. And so buying that fish is actually illegal. It took Malcolm Caulfield about two hours to bring in 21 fish. Not every angler is going to have that kind of luck, but it's possible given the outstanding sockeye salmon run in Port Alberni this year. It's huge. There's so many fish out there, they slow your boat down. The sockeye returns this year are much higher than what anyone expected. Early forecasts put the run at about 600,000 fish, but now the Department of Fisheries and Oceans estimates the run could go as high as 850,000 sockeye. We're quite happy with it. A lot of fish for everyone. That wasn't the case in 2007 and 2008 when dismal returns led to the cancellation of the sport fishery. This year, however, there is plenty of sockeye available. And the Department of Fisheries and Oceans wants you to watch out for this. And these are canal fish. Sockeye salmon being sold on the side of the road. Well, the fish are big this year, so it's like 15 bucks. However, according to the DFO, buying fish from roadside oh, sellers know. is not entirely legal. Uh, a sales agreement has to be negotiated with between the department and those Aboriginal communities. We've not achieved that uh, agreement to date, and so any sales of uh, sockeye salmon currently uh, are, are illegal under that aspect. At about $15 a fish, buying a sockeye here is about half the prices in your local seafood shop. While that's a tempting deal, the DFO says illegal fish sales jeopardize long-term salmon management plans. And that could mean an end to successful salmon runs like the one we're experiencing this summer. Well, I guess the message here is that if it's a really good deal and it's too good to be true, you should check the source of where your fish is coming from before you make that purchase. Of course, you could always try to catch the fish yourself. This will be dinner tomorrow night. Your chances are pretty good right now. The DFO says people caught selling fish illegally could face up to a $100,000 fine and up to $500,000 plus jail time for a second offense. And the buyers, well, they won't be let off the hook either. DFO saying they could also face prosecution. Mary Beth? Brent Shearer reporting live for us. Thank you. Thank you.